In this video, we are going to assemble and take a look at our camera slider. It can move both vertically and horizontally. And we can control its speed with a potentiometer. So let's continue. These are all the parts we need. We can find the part list, STL files and step files in the video description. So let's get started. Let's assemble the phone holder first. For the phone holder, I'm using the parts designed by this guy. You can also find the links for these in the video description. Assembling it is super easy. You just need 4 bolts, 5 nuts and that's it. Ok, we are done here, so let's continue. I am going to use 3D printed bushings, because they provide much smoother movement. But if you want, you can use normal linear bushings instead. I am securing all 4 bushings using 4 zip ties. If you want to make them more rigid, you can add some sprue glue between bushings and the slider body. Ok, we are done with the bushings, so let's attach the phone holder to the slider body with these two bolts. Ok, it looks good, so let's continue. So now, let's assemble the electronics. I have a cheap speed controller and a DC motor here. You can find the links for these in the video description. This speed controller has an on-off switch inside the potentiometer. So I'm not going to use an extra on-off switch, which is nice. Also, we are using a limit switch, as you can see in the schematic. So if the slider comes to the end of the roads, it basically presses the button and stops. It's a pretty simple schematic, nothing fancy. I am done with the wiring, so let's secure it to the frame using these bolts and nuts. Also, you can see I'm using a 5V adapter as the power source. You can use a battery if you like. Ok, we are done here, so let's continue. I have two 50cm rods here. I'm placing the rods like this and securing them with these bolts. Ok, we are done here. Now let's attach the end stop to the frame. I'm going to use a string to pull the slider body. If you want, you can use something else. I tried using a thin cable, but it didn't turn out as I expected. So I'm using a string. Then, I'm adding some washers to the DC motor's shaft to elevate the pulley. I am also securing the string to the shaft of the motor.
I don't recommend using this bolt here, it increases friction. Just tie the rope around the pulley. I'm cutting the extra string and we are done assembling the slider. As you can see, it's perfect. Let's film some footage to test this beauty. And check out this perfect footage. It looks so professional with such a small budget. As you can see, it's perfectly smooth. The only downside is the motor sound, but we can always add some music and sound effects. If you liked my video, please consider subscribing and liking the video. It's free and doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me a lot. Thanks for watching and see you later in other projects.